What's up? What's up? What's up? What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another live stream. We are back in the lab, if you will, on a Sunday. Always grinding, always working. Somebody got to do it. But uh, this is the time to be working overtime right now in crypto, isn't it? Uh, with meme coin season heating up. We're going to talk about meme coin season. We're going to talk about memes in general. A lot of people, I think, having this identity crisis right now. Like, should I be investing in meme coins? I'm here for the tech. Like, you know, I, I think a lot of people get caught up in all of this. Admittedly, I did too throughout the bear market. We'll talk a little bit about that, but uh, we're also gonna we're also gonna talk about some plays. We're also gonna talk about some things that I really like right now. Uh, some plays that I'm currently in. Some of my plans with some of the plays I'm in. Um, so, and I'll also take some questions and comments. And uh, of course, as we always do on these live streams, interact with all of you guys as much as we can. Try to get to as many questions as we can and uh, break things down and try to make sense of what's going on with meme coins. Uh, right now, you know, it, in my opinion, if you're not taking advantage of meme coin season, A, you're already like in a financial situation in a different stratosphere, stratosphere or like you're just missing the boat or there, there's like this, this sentiment that I'm too good for meme coins, right? I'm only here for the great projects. And here's the thing with meme coins. You don't know how long they're going to last. A lot of them are not long-term plays, but my God, the opportunities here <laughs> are absolutely insane. I mean, could we all agree on that? The opportunities to make money in meme coins is insane. And you have to have a strict, strict plan. As we always say, don't invest what you're willing, what you're not willing to lose. But you don't have to throw a lot at these to have some big winners. I've said this before. I'm trying to hit one or two out of 10. Right now, it's a little bit easier to hit three or four out of 10, especially if you're really strict with your profit taking. Uh, and we're going to get into a lot of different things in this video, in this live stream, guys. Make sure you guys smash the like button on your way in. Happy Sunday to you out there, wherever you're coming in from. Those of you in the chat, after you smash the like button, make sure you're subscribed to. Let me know where you're from. I want to hear from where you guys, uh, where you guys are at in the world. I know people all around the globe are into crypto. And that's what makes this space so phenomenal. So awesome, awesome, awesome. And I uh, just love hanging out, spending time with you guys. As you guys know, Dogecoin, SHIB at the top in a league of their own. SHIB has kind of been consolidating for a while. We talked about that yesterday, kind of gearing up, hopefully for another breakout. Doge did cross over 18 cents momentarily. Uh, it is up a little bit, Doge that is. Uh, how about Dog with Hat? Staying above a $2 billion market cap right now. We've got Pepe uh, continuing to look really, really strong. Uh, recently cracking the top 40. Floki, which has kind of been going under the radar, still looks really strong. Back to a $2 billion market cap. Bonks right there on the heels of um, Floki as well, just under $2 billion. We saw uh, Kok Inu uh, basically get listed, uh, cracking the top 200, get listed on Coinbase uh, Crypto.com as well. That was big for that one. Myro has dialed back a little bit, but Myro, I still think, is a Solana meme coin that could potentially be the next Solana meme coin to get to a $1 billion market cap. Don't forget about Smog, though, too, guys. You know, I haven't been tooting uh, my own horn a lot. I, I don't like to do that. I'm, I'm pretty chill. You know, I don't have it all figured out. You guys, if you guys know me, I, I'm, I'm like a normal dude. But, guys, we did call Smog at a $2 million market cap. I partnered up with them on the channel, did a video for them. Interesting narrative. Meme coin season was just heating up. We literally put out a promo video when they were a $2 million market cap. It's 200 right now. You guys know what that is, right? That's a 100X. <laughs> so if you guys got into smog, let me know. I sold too early. I, I, I'm, I'm too strict to this go around with my profit taking. I'm not going to do what I did back in 2021. And that goes for meme coins and utility-based projects. I've got strict profit taking strategies and I might miss out on some gains and that's okay. There are a few meme coins that I'm holding longer term. We'll get into kind of some of that as well. Of course, Bone listed as a meme coin. That is one of my longer term holds. I think we have just immense upside with Bone. How many of you guys caught that live stream yesterday with Canine Finance? I know that's not a meme coin, but it is within the SHIB ecosystem, which is a meme coin, but they're trying to make that transition. That was bullish, bullish, bullish. Bar Mario Nafal was on the live stream. He's partnered. He's I didn't know he was a private investor too in Canine Finance, as am I. That was a bullish space. And I think we're seeing what Bone is going to be in that ecosystem. 
Uh, Harry, Bo- Harry Potter, Obama, Sonic, you know, I saw that had a nice little pump in the last seven days back up to a 202 million. Never got into that one. I just missed it. I missed a lot of these. Uh, when missed it, uh, kind of let it fly by, um, uh, MAGA missed it. Um, meme missed it. Baby Doge never got into it. It's been kind of underperforming baby Doge has, um, let's keep going. And then we're going to get into some of the small caps guys. We are going to get into some of the small caps. Love hearing where you guys are from, by the way in the chat my friend is it uh, really factual that the xrp settlement won't happen until july or august love your xrp vids hey what's up commando yeah we always are putting out xrp content listen guys we talk about it all we talk about meme coins xrp cardano shib uh bitcoin ethereum everything we don't shy away from talking about anything on this channel we're not too good to talk about meme coins listen if there's an opportunity and there's news to be put out there we're going to talk about it I am hearing that it could push into the summer, Commando. We don't know for sure. I I mean, I I don't know either. I appreciate the $5 donation, though, man. We'll be keeping tabs on it. A lot of key dates. A lot of key dates this month and next month. So we'll be keeping tabs on it um, for sure. For sure. We'll be keeping tabs on that. People coming in from Vegas. People coming in from Kuwait, northern Nevada, near Lake Tahoe. Love that spot. Chicago's in the house. Panama's in the house. We got a ton of people here with us. Now, let's keep going down this line, and then we're going to cross over and get into some of the small caps, all right? Snack, $150 million, biggest on Cardano, biggest meme coin on Cardano. Still holding a bag of this. I know it's been quiet as of late, but I still like it. Doge on Mars, talked about this one for a while. We've pretty much been stuck at this price point. This is an OG meme coin that has yet to really, really move back up yet. I do think this could be one that has a resurgence, still sitting at an $180 million market cap. Maybe not a bad situation there. Shout out to Suka. Now, you guys know, if you're if you're not new to this channel, you know I've been holding a bag of Suka for a while. We're at $0.08, cents, guys. We're up 27% today, 82% in the last seven days. Still only an $80 million market cap. We'll talk a little bit more about Suka. I've got that one listed on my Dex Tools line token fi listed as a meme coin but it's not this is a longer term hold for me token fi has been really really solid since its launch this is in the floki ecosystem guys dealing with real world assets and the tokenization of real world assets this is not a meme coin but it's listed under it because it's a floki play but i really like token fi as a long-term play of course anything i say in this video guys do not do not just take it as the gospel do your own homework I don't have it all figured out. I'm going to be right. I'm going to be wrong. And it is what it is. So is everybody else, right? Doge Killer Leash. I've got a few of them. I don't know. I mean, last cycle we saw Doge Killer Leash go up to, you know, I think it was a $9,000 per leash price. It's going to move up. It's going to move up with the SHIB ecosystem. When we get all coin season, if the SHIB ecosystem continues to move up, we'll see it move up. It did cross over 1,000 recently when SHIB was pumping. I'm not heavily into it. Maybe I should be more. It does have a really limited supply at 150,000. It might even be less than that. Is it like 120,000? Um, let me see their supply. What is it? Oh, it's actually less than that. Total supply, 107,000. Yeah, that, that, that's, that's interesting, right? Almost all of it is circulating. So that's one to keep on your radar. Might be one that's up your alley. Samo, guys, a lot of people don't talk about this. I know Mike the Investor does. Shout out to Mike the Investor. We've uh, we've had a meme coin conversation before on the channel. Uh, him and I, I brought him on live. Man, what an amazing uh, foresight that was. Little did we know, right? We I think we talked about it back in 2023 that we're going to have another meme coin rally some point this year, and it came true. I mean, here we are. Um, but yeah, he really likes Samo. That's one of the OG meme coins on Solana, guys. A lot of people forget about that one. It is still only a $62 million mark cap. Full disclosure, I do have a little bit of a bag uh, of Samo as well. Salama, I missed the boat. Quack, never got into it. Volt, traded it, made some money on it back in 2021. Might jump back in. Right now, I'm not. Punky, I got crushed on this so far. We'll see if it comes back. I'm still holding it. Uh, But there's a lot of cryptos not listed here that are way higher market cap. So, we're getting down here to the 50 million. Let's get into some that are even bigger than this that aren't on the list yet. Let's get into some of the smaller caps. Go ahead and smash the like button, guys, for us. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. By the way, we talk about everything here on the channel. It's not just meme coins. It is everything. Layer ones, AI, gaming. 
We're huge, huge, hugely. We'll say hugely. We're hugely bullish on AI and gaming for this next crypto cycle. Um, I really, really think AI is going to continue uh, on this path. Sure, there will be ups and downs, of course, but I think AI and gaming, two sectors that I think are all also the big, big, big opportunities. What do you think about Snack Con? Uh, I think you might have just missed it, or I just uh, am coming to your super chat late. Probably that. Uh, it's four minutes ago. Yeah, I like it. I, I'm holding the bag. It's the biggest on Cardano. I like these first movers on blockchains. Guys, later on in the live stream, we're going to talk about one on Polygon I like. I sent it to my uh, Patreon. I sent about a list of six or seven of my Patreon three days ago, and I think probably three or four of them are up pretty nicely, at least doubled since I put those out there. We're not going to hit on everyone, but when we win, let's win big. But yes, I do like Snack. Thank you for the $5 donation. K9 Finance up 65%. Yes, absolutely loving it. Uh, the Crypto Alliance in the house. What's up, Soltani? How we doing, man? Uh, phenomenal space again last night, brother. Uh, Soltani, the Crypto Alliance, they're doing a phenomenal job over on Twitter uh, with their spaces every single night, 8 p.m. Eastern. I try to catch as many as I can. Absolutely love hopping in there and uh, picking up what they throw down over there. Speaking of Twitter spaces, episode number three tomorrow, guys. Crypto Breakfast Club. I've been hosting these now. This will be the third straight week. Uh, meme coins is the conversation tomorrow as well. So you don't want to miss that. Set a reminder, follow me on Twitter, of course, 9.30 a.m. tomorrow. Wake up with me. Let's drink some coffee. Talk crypto. Uh, last two Mondays, Bitcoin has been exploding. Crypto has been exploding. Hopefully we can keep it going tomorrow. No matter what, we'll have a lot to talk about. Make sure you check us out on the Crypto Breakfast Club, episode number three tomorrow. Coming at you live. All right, so uh, let's get into some of the small caps. Scotty AI. Yes, I've been looking at that one uh, as well. Scotty AI. I'm actually going to have a video out on that one. I uh, recently just put a little bit in there. Um, Scotty AI. Or no, that's the one that has not launched yet, correct? I think that one is still in pre-sale, right? We'll come back to that. Um, 80K Gala. Uh, Gala's been looking really good. Gala Games looking really nice. Yeah, we put out a video yesterday. Um do I think it can get to an all-time high? Certainly, uh, I do. I mean, I know a lot of people still like to hate on Gala. I'm very bullish on Gala still, you know? And and listen, my position's at six cents, so I recently just got back in the green, so I might be a little biased right now. I'm a little excited uh, with Gala uh, on the pump. I think it was still one of the top gainers. Yeah, Gala's still crushing it uh, at 85 uh, or 85 level now. We're back in the green, well into the green on our Gala position. Guys, we were buying Gala at one and two cents when everybody said it was dead. We were buying. Uh, I love the gaming sector. I love the gaming ecosystems. Gala, Mira, and Beam are my three ecosystems I'm betting heavy on in terms of um, some top plays there in the gaming sector. But let's get it back to meme coins. Eventually, maybe we'll rotate over, talk about some other things we like. Yeah, we, we, we mentioned Smog. Uh, I think it's looking solid. It's one of those Solana meme coins uh, that we talked about very, very early on. In fact, that's been the one that I've talked about here this year, that is literally 100x since we talked about it. That is insane. And I didn't get all those gains. I, I took profits way too early on smog, but it is what it is, right? Uh, I had a plan, stuck to it. The thing eventually sent to the moon. So uh, <laughs> unbelievable. But yeah, that and my row, I think, are the next two up that could potentially be the next Solana meme coin to hit a billion. Smog and my row. Uh, greetings from Belgium. Okay, what's up, Zach? How much Shiba do you got? I got a decent sized bag. I'm, I'm, my my long term bag's at five zero six level, so I'm pretty excited about that. Libre, good morning to you. I already drank my coffee, but we got water here. We got water today. Uh, let's go. Is Floki going to explode? I like Floki. I think a lot of people are sleeping on it. It's one of the OGs. You know, I, I do like Floki into the next um, into the next cycle. Yeah, Sangoon, yes, presale. Okay, that's what I thought. Scotty AI and the presale. Um, you know, the presale memes. Personally, I don't think they do as well as some of the fair launched meme coins. However, if you can get in early on these pre-sale meme coins, some of the ones that let you buy with credit card, et cetera, what I have seen is you could definitely like two to three X more often than not. If you get in early on the pre-sale and sell pretty early when it goes live. And that's usually what I try to do, at least get my basis out right out of the gates. That's what I did on meme combat. You know, that was one that recently had a big pre-sale. Got in and out of that one really quick. 
Wall Street memes, same thing. Got in early on the pre-sale, two to three X, got out. And then you could still, because you'll usually get a sell-off from all the private sellers or the, or the, the pre-sellers. You'll get that dip. And then if it's going to rip back up, then it's organic. Then it's out on the open market and you can get back in. So on these private sale meme coins, that's the game I like to play. I like to get in the pre-sale early, throw a couple hundred bucks at it, double it up, take those gains, stick it in the tether, and wait and see if you start to get some momentum on that meme coin again, or you might find another opportunity elsewhere, right? Good morning, uh, James. What's going on, man? Gala is making me some nice profits. Uh, yes, Gala has been crushing it. Uh, Squid Grow got a $5 donation from Hoop Village. Shout out to you, man. I've heard about Squid Grow. I know a lot of people talking about it. I uh, have not aped into this one yet. I don't even know much about it here. You know what? We're going we're gonna to track it because I have heard a lot about this. Squid Grow. And I'm sure the Squid Grow team will clip this up and post it everywhere. They are phenomenal at that. Uh, shout out to them, though. They're setting a new all-time high, it looks like, right? Interesting. Okay. By the way, shout out to Suka. We got the Suka hat on today. They've been crushing it. Uh, Salama. Yeah, I did see that. I missed it. Missed it. You know, you're going to miss some. <laughs> and I, I just didn't chase it. I just didn't chase it. I, I kind of started looking elsewhere at some other opportunities, but, um, let's see what else we got. I know that Gala chart is bullish, bullish, bullish. We got a meeting with Shiptoshi this coming week. Uh, nice. The crypto Alliance. There we go. This is the right one. The one I just pulled up, right? Was that the right one? Are they on, are you guys on BNB? Is that the right, uh, is that the right one? Like I said, Richard, uh, a little bit ago, I'm still holding Ponky. I'm a little upside down. And I mean, I threw 300 bucks at it. I think it's worth like 200 now. Um, so we'll see. I'm still holding it. That's the thing with these, right? I don't throw a ton out of a uh, ton at them. The most I'll throw at one is usually a, a thousand. Um, like I threw a thousand at Pepe at a hundred million. And at 13x. So I turn, you know, one into 13k. I did something similar with Bonk. As they become more solidified, I'll throw a little bit more at them. But when they're early on, guys, you could throw two, three hundred K. Um, you know, I mentioned smog. I didn't take as uh, I took profits, you know, pretty early, didn't see the huge, huge hundred X that I would have. This has been my biggest win so far in 2024, though. Donald freaking Tramp. By the way, UFC was awesome last night. Tramp was uh Trump was walking out. I don't know if you guys saw that. There was some great fights. O'Malley with the W last night. But Donald Trump, guys, I was on a Twitter space. Shout out to this group. I think they're called like Crypto Traders or something. I don't know. I follow this guy. You know how it is. When you follow somebody and they're in a space, they do like this like live trading thing like in the middle of the freaking night. And I was up. I couldn't sleep. 2 a.m. This thing had just launched. So there it was. It was February freaking 27th. <laughs> it was a 200K mark cap. I threw 300 bucks at it, went to bed. And then as I started watching the volume here pick up, I was like, what the hell's happening here? And uh, 200K market cap, guys. Donald Trump's now at a $32 million market cap. It crossed over a $40 million market cap. Uh, so that has been absolutely insane. Yeah, Cock Inu has been crushing it as well. Um, so, sorry, guys, getting a text real quick. Hold on one sec. Uh, hold on one sec. Okay, there we go. Uh, let's see. That's a good strategy. Yeah, I mean, we you know, we try to have a plan. I mean, that's that's key. Uh, thoughts on Pepe Inu? That's uh, some wealth. I don't know about that, uh, Tiltani, but we're gonna put it in here. And uh, listen, I don't want to miss out on it. Uh, if it's something here, is it on BNB or ETH? Is it this one? 122, 122K? This one's pretty wrecked. There's so many freaking Pepe's now, though. Two hundred thirty k market cap? I don't know which one it is, but uh, yeah, if you know which one it is, man, put it in here. I'll, I'll check it out. Um Okay, uh, look at AGI Delcium. I've heard about this one, um, Hex. 
Delcium. I think I was following them. Guys, welcome in. We are uh, we're going to break down a ton of these meme coins as we already are a little bit. Yeah, I think I follow these guys. I need to look into this a little bit more. Blockchain for AI. I need to make a note um, to look at this a little bit closer. Okay, yeah, we'll definitely come back and look at that later. Appreciate that. Uh, Ponky is pumping a little bit. I did see that. Oh, it's a pre-sale. Okay. Toltani, uh, if you if you remember, dude, message me that one. I'm, I'm curious. But yeah, the pre-sale meme coins, that's kind of how I play them. I, I like to try to try to you know, try to two to three X when they go live, then get out because you get the pre-sellers to sell off. And then, because you can usually get a two, three X and then it sells off a little bit and then maybe hop back in. But these ones that just, you know, launch out of nowhere, these, these fair launches, that's what's just insane. Some of these, right? That's what's just insane. All right. So this is one I just released a video on guys. Uh, it's called just the tip. Now, full disclosure, uh, they did, you know, become uh, a partner with me. Uh, they wanted some exposure. I like the narrative. I like the meme ability of this. This thing looked like it was dead and out three days ago. I actually sent this one to my Patreon on the comeback here two days ago. I said, hey, I think these guys are still building, um, and this thing might you know, make a push. It's 3 to 4x from when I said that, but I still think now it's picking up momentum. If we can get this volume back up over a million, uh, it's sitting at 747K, this one might be something to consider. Um, full disclosure, I did invest in this one too. I threw uh, I threw like 300 bucks at it right at launch. So I'm holding right now. We'll see what happens. I mean, some of these memes, they start out at, you know, two, three mil, and then all of a sudden you look up and they're 20 mil. Or it could go the other way real quick. But I did put out a full video if you guys are interested in checking out that. We mentioned Trep, uh, Trump on Saul. This one, I, I bought back in. I crushed it once, bought back in. So we're still riding the wave on this thing. I've, I've, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I've crushed it on this one. This has been one of the biggest wins of this meme coin run for me. Absolutely loving it. Hey, K9 Finance just popped up. Look at this. K9, baby. This is not a meme coin, though, guys. By the way, this thing just launched in the SHIB ecosystem. Keep your eyes peeled on K9 Finance. If you don't know about this one, uh, you better look into it, what they do and what they're bringing to Shibarium. That's all I'm going to say. Brett, how about Brett on base? Put out a video on Twitter today, guys. Uh, Brett on base, we first talked about this one at $120 million market cap. Full disclosure, did partner with these guys as well, okay? Um, and I'm a private investor in K9, so I put my own money into K9. Uh, Brett gave me some uh, gave me some money to help cover them, but then I also bought into this one. I love the narrative here. It's the first big meme coin on uh, base. Okay, again, what is base? Guys, this is the incubated chain of Coinbase. So I'm betting big that Brett is going to get listed on Coinbase. You better believe I'm betting big that Brett is going to get listed on Coinbase. So right now it launched on February 24th, sitting at 337 million. It's massive, but volume has been sky high. Uh, it's been picking up steam like crazy the last few days. And what you're seeing here is these new cryptos, the biggest ones on these new chains, seem to have a phenomenal opportunity to go to a billion dollar market cap. And I'm going to give you guys a gem in a little bit that's on Polygon. I mentioned this to my private community yesterday. I'm up a little bit on it. We'll see what happens. Okay, so make sure you stick around for that because we got some gems. But I'm trying to chase these meme coins that are coming out on new chains. So many people only focus on ETH or only focus on Solana or only focus on ETH and Solana. First off, Ethereum is absolutely absurd right now with these fees. Trying to make money on Ethereum meme coins right now like new ones, it's absolutely absurd. I mean, if I'm putting $300 into an Ethereum meme coin and paying $200 in gas, I mean, what the fuck? You know, like, that's crazy. Excuse my language. Sorry if I offended anybody, but I mean, that's just insane. Now, hopefully this new upgrade, the Denkun upgrade, uh, changes that. I don't know. We'll see. I mean, it's said to change it. Hopefully it does. But I mean, I'm not doing a lot on Ethereum with meme coins right now. I'm just not. I'm not paying $200 in gas. Now on Solana, very different. You know, Radium gets really clunky, which I don't necessarily like, but it is what it is, right? 
All right, we'll go full screen for a minute. Let me get rid of uh, this right here. But make sure you guys do subscribe if you haven't already. I do want to kind of go down the line. This one, Crazy Bunny, I have no idea what this thing is. I haven't invested in this thing yet, full disclosure, guys. I'm not being paid or anything by them either. I will let you know if I am. I think that's important for all of you guys to know that. Uh, and obviously, these are all your decisions you make. Um, shit, I wish I would have invested in this. I put this on the radar like three days ago. Somebody told me to watch it. It is not even a million dollar mark cap yet. I don't know. Crazy bunny. I have no idea what the heck this thing is. And I want to say this, guys, when it comes to meme coins too, if you guys want to use a service to help read contracts, um, I'm invested in this company too. It's called Quick Intel. Okay, this is a really good security. Uh, you can you can go to their website, Quick Intel, and drop contracts in there before you decide to invest, which is really interesting. Um, okay. I did invest in one on Ethereum yesterday, guys. Okay, I'm going to give you guys some alpha, all right? Guys, this could be this could be a potential gem. I forgot. I did invest on one on yesterday on Ethereum, okay? And it hasn't done much since we invested in it. I think I invested at a $5 million flat market cap yesterday. Might have been four, eight or something. It was like right in here. It was on this pump yesterday. Okay, now listen. This is Kendu Inu. I have no idea what it does. It has a 99 out of a 99 on deck score, though. Okay, the contract's pretty clean. Zero buy tax, zero sell tax. Can do Inu. Okay, full disclosure. Not being paid at all for this. Not being paid for all of this. The only reason I threw some money at this after looking at the contract and seeing it was clean. Guys, Shaitoshi Kusama, the head dev of Shiba Inu, is freaking following these guys. And shout out to my buddy, Austin Hilton, for actually finding this. Or one of his listeners posted it in a comment. And then Austin texted me. He was like, hey, man, we might, we might want to look at this. This can do Inu. And guys, this is why you subscribe to the channel. Because you never know when I'm going to go live. Maybe throw out some alpha. Who knows what happens to this. But why is Shaitoshi following this account? That's all I'm saying. Why, why is he following this account? Okay, so full disclosure, guys. I threw a little bit of change at this one. Nothing crazy, crazy. I usually throw like two to 300 bucks in meme coins. Only invest what you're willing to lose. Maybe that's 50 to 100 for you. Have an allocation that is just for meme coins. That's your casino gambling money. Maybe that's a thousand bucks or whatever. Disposable income that you're like, hey, I'm going to take this thousand, try to get it to a hundred thousand or whatever. And you don't care if you lose it all. Okay. I've done that with meme coins. I've got a little pocket that I you know throw at it. This thing is interesting strictly because the contract looks good. No buy, no sell. I know that uh, ETH gas fees are a pain in the you-know-what, but Shaitoshi's following these guys on Twitter. I have no idea why. Um, So, yeah. What the hell this is? No clue. No freaking clue. All right, so that is one on ETH that I did throw some into. Again, my Patreon members knew a little bit before all of you guys did publicly. Uh, if you guys are interested in joining us up over there. Obviously, we do have the trading indicator as well, XT Algo. Links are down below for that. We can't. We went live with that in August. It's crushing it. You could use that on large caps, small caps that are listed on some of the exchanges. Um, the trading indicator is huge. If you're looking to trade crypto, um, check that out as well. Boba, I'm in on this one. I got wrecked. I, you know, the Boba ETH one I think did well. <laughs> um, okay, it's bouncing back a little bit, but I got wrecked. I launched. I got in this one on day one at launch, so I'm way back here. I only put like 200 bucks to this one, Boba Sol, but. It's at that market cap where if it does make a big run, I'm just going to hold it. It's at that market cap where if it does make a big run, look out, right? 186, 186K. We don't know. I mean, you never know, right? But this is what I threw a little bit at. Full disclosure, not being paid by these guys or anything. I saw Boba on ETH went nuts. I said, all right, let me try Boba on Saw. I don't want to pay. I'm going to throw 100 bucks or 200 bucks at it. I think I threw 200 at it. I'm not going to pay 200 gas fees. So I, I threw the I threw it at the boba Sol, right? I mean, full degenerate. We'll see what happens, you know. Um, Suka. Okay. Now this is a meme coin, technically, but I look at this more of a community token. Guys, I've been uh rocking with the Suka fam for a while. This is a super strong community. We're getting close to a million in volume here today. 14,000 holders, 2.59 million liquidity locked. If you guys don't know about Suka, this is more than just a meme. This is a movement. It is big. They have yet to see a bull run. They launched in May of 2022. I was here pretty early on with Suka. May of 2022, they launched. They've got utility. Look into what they do. 
Um, they're still they're they're solid too, really really solid. Um, but amazing amazing community throughout the bear market, guys. They were not here in the 2021 blow off top. Okay, so Suka is one that I own a big bag of. Okay, straight up, and it's an 80 million dollar market cap. I'm hoping this can go to a billion at some point. And it has been, this is not one straight to the moon. It has been a slow mover. You know, it's sold off a little bit in the bear, but here it comes. You know, we've been bouncing up nicely here. And if we throw this one, this is one, if we throw up on uh, trading view, you'll see what kind of moves this thing's made. Um, Suk is listed on some pretty solid exchanges too. Uh, let's see here. Here's Maxi chart. But even if you're just trading Suka here on the daily, this big momentum up here, 182% in the last 34 days using XT algo momentum, momentum up flashed on February 5th, bang opportunity to make 182%. Even if you're trading this thing back up to eight cents, I think the all time high is 16 cents. So we are getting about halfway there. Yeah. We spiked up to about 16 cents. So we're literally halfway back to all time highs. Suka's one. It's, it's more of a longer term hold. I'm holding that one till the top of this bull run. I like Suka a lot guys. Okay. Um, full disclosure, I've worked with them in the past. I'm not working with them currently, but they did send me this hat. They sent me a bunch of swag. I got a hoodie. I got a shirt. I got two hats. Um, was a brand ambassador with them, like grinding with them for a while, for like eight months. Um, and just absolutely love their community. I mean, still do. I mean, I, it's just amazing what they've been able to do to keep things going. They have not seen a bull run yet either. So pretty bullish on them. All right. Let's, uh, oops, let's go back full screen here. Let's continue to go down the line here. Um, okay, this is not a meme coin. This is in the AI sector. We'll give you guys some free alpha here, though. OX number, they're doing decentralized phone numbers. We talked about these guys, less than a million dollar mark cap. We did partner with them. Uh, we've been helping them out. OX number, chart looking really solid. There's so many great AI plays. Smart, we just partnered with them recently. We talked about Smart a few days ago. Uh, they're looking really, really good. Guys, this is a long-term hold for me. Look into what Smart does. You can literally track the best traders using AI. Track the top performing traders on-chain. Even if you don't buy into the token, Smart Money Token, or go, go to Smart Money Token, go to their website, get the bot. You could start following the best traders and that can help you make money. Any kind of edge is amazing. Uh, quick Intel. I mentioned this. This is my company that I use for contract reading. Look at their chart, though, too, by the way. Um, that has been amazing. They've partnered with uh, the Google Cloud program. They are a great little startup. I was here early, 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 day one, back in late December, uh, late November, rather, with Quick Intel. Again, not a meme coin. Hoshi is within the Suka ecosystem. This is a meme coin. I'm not invested in this one. I'm just in their native one, Suka. But this is Hoshi, part of the Suka ecosystem for you. Do that. Do do with that what you will. Squid Grow. I know they were in the chat. If Squid Grow's here, shout out to Squid Grow. I'm not invested yet. Never been paid by them, etc. But I think this is the right chart. They're setting all time highs. They've been pumping like crazy. Shout out to Squid Grow. Uh, I know they they've got a pretty strong community. They come at you hot and heavy too on Twitter, man. You, you put a tweet out there in the comment section like crazy. Um, Pal AI, not a meme, but holy shit, Pal AI. Just continuing to blow my mind. $620 million mark cap. I said this before on a live stream. August 18th, back in here in 2023, this is where I met the dev team at ETH Toronto, guys. That's where I learned about Pal AI. Now they're a $620 freaking million dollar market cap. Amazing. Love it. Absolutely love seeing people crush it like that. This is an amazing project. They've got ties with NVIDIA. Uh, as well. Yeah. 620 million. I'll be shocked if Pal AI doesn't get to a billion dollar market cap. Um, not working with them at all. Not being paid to say that I am just strictly an investor. Always, always want to give you guys that two cents because I do take promotional deals from time to time. Um, and I just want to let you guys know full disclosure when I do and when I don't, as I'm talking about cryptos. All right. Demo never invested in this and I'm stupid. I should have. I've been tracking this thing for a while. Um, it's on Matic. Demo. So if you guys uh, are familiar with this, help drivers get the most from their cars. Download the app, connect, earn rewards, and build uh, the future of mobility. Very interesting concept, kind of a web three, um, kind of Uber, kind of, you know, drivers all over the world already connected to the network. Enterprises can easily offer service to these cars by tapping in the same protocols, rewards. Interesting, interesting 
idea. They're building a world where technology serves people first. In this world, developers can innovate freely. Privacy coexists with progress and human-centric connected mobility can flourish. Put your data to work, get rewarded. It's an open user-owned uh, user network where when businesses use uh, your data, you save time and money while earning rewards. Check it out. I wish I would have invested in them, um, not being paid by them or anything, but tracking them and pissed every time I look at their chart go up, <laughs> basically. Uh, okay, what else do we got? Vault. This uh, this is a really solid project. Long-term hold for me, guys. They partnered up with Pal. I did partner with them. But Vault Tech, very, very intriguing. Uh, AI escrow. That's what they're focusing in on. Not a meme coin here. But a layer one blockchain offering AI escrow. Check out what they do. Um, do like Vault a lot. Again, longer term hold for me. They're sitting at a $21 million market cap right now. Bitrock, partnered with them months ago. This is a layer two. Shout out to Bitrock. Solid looking chart too. They got $2.22 million locked in liquidity. Only a $12.25 million market cap. So there you go. Bitrock, been working with them for months now. Um, shout out to those guys. They've been crushing it. Just kind of put you guys on some plays. Listen, it's it's up to you. I'm giving you guys a ton of alpha. We'll do with it what you will. Go out there, make some money. We're going to get back into some memes too. I did, did want to kind of run through some of these ones uh, that I've just tracked and watched. ZKML, guys, holy shit. They're almost at a $40, $40 million market cap now. I partnered with these guys. They're built on the XRP ledger. Partnered with these guys uh, just for a video, just for a quick video, put some eyeballs on them. Uh, they were at a $6, 7000000 million market cap. Somewhere down in here. Literally, like it was like day four or five. I put the video out. They've been crushing it since. Shout out to them. Shout out to Preem community. They've been on a little bit of a kick as well. A little kick up there. Preem has been on the up and up a little bit. They're sitting at a $1.24 million mark cap. Uh, Hello Labs. Never invested in this. Might not be a bad time, though. You know, Hello Labs has come way down here. I'm glad I didn't invest at the top. I almost FOMO'd here. I almost FOMO'd here. But now I'm looking at this. This might be a better entry. I do like what Hello Labs is building. They're back down to a $53 million market cap now. I got to look at this, actually. And by the way, Hello Labs is not a meme coin either. Future of Crypto Entertainment. This is the, the Killer Whales TV show. You guys have probably seen all this. There's Crypto Wendy on there, Rand, Mario, the Allcoin Brothers, uh, you know, Allcoin Daily Brothers, et cetera, and some other folks on there. Interesting concept. I, I, you know, I almost FOMO'd. I'm glad I didn't. I'm glad I didn't. Okay. I'm going to give you guys some big time alpha. You ready? We mentioned that we're looking for plays on different chains. And yeah, we just talked about Ken do. We aped in that yesterday. We aped into that yesterday. Shaitoshi's following the Twitter account with 600 freaking followers. Yeah. Give me some of that. Ken do's on fire. Yeah. Thank you for following Ken do guys. Ken do. Yeah. Um, I think the Kendo community must've heard us talking about them. I think they're filing in. But maybe, just maybe, this community will hear us too. Guys, I've been tracking Kulo, C-U-L-O. Look at this freaking explosion yesterday. Now, Kulo is on Matic, guys. I added Matic to my MetaMask as a network. That's where I picked it up. I put 700 bucks yesterday in Kulo. Usually, I don't go more than 300 on these new ones. I put 700 into Kulo yesterday, somewhere in the middle of this, probably at a 10 or $11 million market cap. Full disclosure, not working with them, just aped, okay? But I'm aping these new blockchain meme coins that could be big winners. Look what happened with Cock Inu, C-O-Q Inu. Look what's happening with Brett on base. Look what happened with the Solana memes, bonk. Look what happened with Corgi AI on Kronos, over a billion. They seem to be going to a billion. The new ones that are catching steam, that are catching the wave, and Matic needs one too, guys. Polygon Matic needs one too, okay? Uh, Lee, $10 donation. Good morning, Zach. Jesus coin is the alpha, always will be. God bless. What's up, Lee? I uh, popped into your guys' Twitter space the other day, man. Shout out to you guys. I see you guys grinding. You guys are the re, uh, the reply kings of meme coins. You guys reply with the prayer emoji. I, I wait for it on every tweet I post. I literally wait for it on every tweet I freaking post. I love it. You guys are crushing it. Shout out to you guys. And no full disclosure to everybody out there. I'm not being paid by Jesus. Always feel like I need to say that. 
Hopefully you guys appreciate that because always want to keep it a hundred with you guys. If I am, I'll let you know. If I'm not, I'll let you know. And it's up to you to make the decision. But yeah, we aped Kulo yesterday. We aped. I'm kind of pumped about this. I don't know. Should I be? I mean, I, you know, Kulo's interesting. It, it's been out for a little bit. January 17th. Go to their Twitter. Um, you know, it's it, it's it's memeable, you know. Um, but yeah, viral meme with purpose on Polygon Network with light utility tools for investors. So they got a little bit of utility, contract scanner, Kulo scanner. Um, hey, I mean, I don't know. Any any big guns following them yet? I, I aped yesterday. I, I kind of like it. I kind of there's Roddy following him. Okay. Jake's following him. Okay. So some people are maybe early. Crypto RS is following him. Interesting. Interesting. I know Crypto RS likes these new meme coins too on different chains. Okay. All right. So yeah, I mean, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Okay. I, I hopped into this one. I think it was like a 10 5, 10 5 million dollar mark cap. Hopefully, this is the next freaking billion dollar meme coin, the first one on Matic. You think you think it can happen, guys? What do you guys think? I hope so. That'd be nice. But that was some big alpha I had for you. But yeah, Kendu has been sending too. This is the one that I did ape on Ethereum recently. Okay. Um, I got in here yesterday at about a four seven, four point seven million dollar mark cap. So we're up slightly. But again, the only reason I aped into this. The contract was clean, and Shaitoshi Kusama's following these guys. 628 followers. That is very interesting. Okay? Don't know what's going on with that, but it's interesting. Looks like Tips is making a little bit of a move. That's good. Back up to a $3 million mark cap for Tips. Uh, Tremp, back up to a $40 million market cap, guys. Donald freaking Tremp. Holy shit. I can't believe... Guys, I was in here on day one at a 200K market cap. This is so, this is what's happening right now in the meme coin space. It's insane. 40 mil, 200,000 to 40 freaking million. Insane. Insane. Um, so that's great to see. Brett making another push, looks like, huh? $335 million market cap here on Brett now. Very, very interesting. Um, let's see. Oh, you know what? I skipped over a couple. Shout out to Scans. $25 million market cap. We worked with these guys, full disclosure. Scans has been crushing it. Multifunction AI auditing solution. They've been doing AI audits for a ton of cryptocurrency projects, adding a ton of great uh, tools for the space, AI auditing solutions for smart contracts. Shout out to OX Scans AI. Uh, they've been on a nice little uptrend too after a little bit of a profit taking trough there. But yeah, Kulo's my big one, guys. I mean, we'll see what happens. I know it's pumped like crazy here. That makes me a little bit nervous. But the way these things have been moving, you know, 13 million on something that's new on a new chain, maybe we're early, right? Hopefully. Maybe we're early. All right, let's look at some of the ones that are down. Um, so, yeah, we got Black Cock Inu. I don't know if you guys saw this. It pumped like crazy, but it's dumping. I did, I did not ape in this. I'm glad I didn't, actually. Wow. It's selling off pretty heavily. I'm glad I did not ape in this. Um, glad I did not ape here. Uh, Cryptic, that's not a rug pool. They they uh, they migrated their contract. This is a Shibarian play that I'm interested in, actually. Let me find. They just migrated over to ETH. I want to see what they're doing today. Um, been in contact with their team a little bit too. Here it is. They're on ETH. Yeah, they're back up to two million. They sold off a little bit when they migrated over, but they bridged uh, over to Ethereum. We're gonna, yeah, we got to keep tabs on them. They're 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 a solid Shibarian project though. They got lock liquidity. They uh, Shitoshi has given them kind of his shout out. His basically, hey, these guys are solid, which I liked. So I am in talks with them. Obviously, K9's in a different stratosphere right now, um, but I am uh, interested in this cryptic. I'm looking into it. Might have a video out on them. I'm diving into them. Oh, Alvara. We mentioned Alvara. We got in here at launch. Alvara's on a little bit of pullback today. This is a long-term play for me. Not a meme coin at all, by the way. 
I got absolutely wrecked on this thing. One of my freaking listeners told me to get, if you're out there, you missed the boat on this one, I think. Well, who knows? I'll hold it now. I put a hundred bucks in this PIU AI. I got freaking wrecked. Absolutely wrecked. And I mean, I should have known better. I just aped after somebody told me on my chat that, you know, that's never a good idea. That's never a good idea. Meme AI was one of those uh, pre-sale ones that it's done pretty well, actually. It's pulling back now, but it did have a big pump the last few days. Smog, we mentioned, just under $200 million. We did a freaking promotional video for them at $2 million market cap on day freaking one. Absolutely insane. Absolutely insane. So shout out to anybody who crushed it. Myro, we were relatively early to Myro. $50 million. We got in around $50 million. And uh, organically talked about Myro, and then um, they came to us, uh, came to me asking for a promo video too. Um, oh, here's another one, guys. Not a meme coin. Shout out to Devour. I was touting Devour down in here when nobody cared at all. It is nine x since 2023, late 2023, guys. They were like a one. Uh, they were like a two million dollar market cap. And nobody was talking about them. I did partner with them in the past. I was stacking. Look at they have 2.47 million locked, 20 million. They just crossed over a $25 million mark cap the other day. Guys, Devour is not a meme coin. This is for real. DPay is their token. Check out Dev devour.io. They are getting heavy, heavy into the GameFi space. They've got their Devour Go app. They are getting into. Uh, basically, they're kind of the Uber Eats of the blockchain. Interesting. Guys, I'm throwing out a ton of alpha for you. So smash the like button if you guys are getting some solid uh, insight here. Again, this is all for you. This is for free. This is for straight up free. I'm just giving you guys some, some interesting plays, things that I'm into. Um, and we'll, you know, obviously, we don't know exactly what's going to happen here. We never do. It's Web3. It's crypto. It's the wild, wild west. But I'm giving you guys free alpha. And it, it, here's the thing with Devour. If you guys are listening to me back here, look what we just experienced. Okay? I met these guys at eToronto. I met the uh, co-founder at eToronto. Grew a relationship with them. Absolutely love what they're doing. So if you guys have been with me for a while, you've you've heard me talk about Deepay, uh and Devour. So shout out to their team. They have been crushing it. So we are invested in this Kazuna. I think it's a meme coin. It's kind of big, relatively. Uh, no, I'm not being paid by these guys at all. We got in at like a $40 million market cap. It's sitting at $29 million. This was another one that I got into because it had interesting SHIB ties that was kind of weird. The largest holder, if you look at their contract, Kazuna, largest holder is the Shiba Inu deployer. <laughs> look at that. $15 million in value. They own 50% of the freaking supply. Whatever that means. So I threw a few at it. I threw a little bit at it of 40 million. Grok, I've been wrecked on this one. Has it been coming up? Oh, it's been coming up a little bit, but I got in somewhere up in here at like the two zero. I'm still down pretty heavily on Grok. This was that AI meme coin. So far has not been great for me. Sync. Now, this one, not a meme coin, guys. Sync DAO. Definitely, definitely encourage you guys to check this out. Um, oh, by the way, if you're interested after you look at this, you know what? I'm going to start putting the Sync DAO referral link in my description. Um, if you guys, th this is this is very, very interesting what they're doing. Let, let me get into this. I, I want to add this to the chat um, just so it's here. Okay, that is the Sync DAO referral. If you guys are interested after I talk about it here, but if you guys saw the video I first made about this $40 million market cap, when we talked about it, it just spiked well over 300 million. It's 277 million right now. Sync DAO, a new standard of treasury backed DeFi. So check this out. This is their um, dashboard, but I want to go to their actual site here. Hold on. Uh, da, 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 da. Wait, I want to go to their actual site. 
or at least their Twitter. Wait a minute. This isn't their actual website. Hold on. Give me a second here. Uh, they're essentially building their own crypto bank, guys. Um, shoot. Where's their actual website? What the hell's my problem here? Hold on. I've got it here. Hold on. I don't know why it's not listed on their Twitter. It should be. Here it is. A treasury-backed ecosystem of DeFi, DeFi products built for longevity and user empowerment. Syncus will continue to reward stakeholders. Uh, here it is. Earn yield on an un on an appreciating asset like never seen before. Syncus's mechanisms represent a new era of DeFi. It uses simple yet detailed mechanisms to reward stakeholders and drive sustainable treasury growth. Uh, so, guys, look into it. Um, it has been on an absolute tear. You don't have to stake, by the way, either. I mean, you could just take advantage. You could have been taking advantage of this price action. I did go ahead and buy some and stake a little bit. Full disclosure, um, they were a partner as well. So, I'll leave some links down below. Not a meme coin, though, so I know a lot of people are like, okay, get back to the memes. Pepe, um, <laughs> I mean, we knew the narrative would come back for Pepe, but did we think it would come back like this? Did anybody think Pepe would come back like this? Like this hard? And just crush all-time highs? Daniel Lyons in the chat. What is up, man? Hopefully all is well, man. It's been a long, long time. One of the OGs. What's up, Daniel? If you're interested in crypto bank, look at Meld. Um, okay, that's a that's a good tidbit. Appreciate that. Foxy's in the house too. We got a bunch of admins here. Boke is in the house. What's up, everybody? Let's get Muzz in here too. Yeah, let's get him. How are you, Daniel? Long time no see. Boke is in here too. So do you like, uh, do you think Shibarian would go from layer two to layer one, making fees cheaper to trade? Is that possible? Uh, as far as I know, I don't think that's in their cards. I mean, maybe, um, maybe, maybe it is. Maybe it is. All right. So some other no, uh, news for you guys, um, real quick here. Oh, Corgi AI. This is the billion dollar market cap on uh, Kronos, by the way. <laughs> so that's what I'm saying. If Corgi AI can get to a billion on Kronos, Who's to say Kulo on Matic? Which a $13 million market cap, right? I mean, I'm betting on that. But let me say this too. Apollo, guys, if you guys have been following me for a really long time, uh, you got to go way back to when Apollo first launched. When did they first launch? Was it January 2022? Am I right in saying that? I think it was. Let me see here. Um, Yeah, January 2022 is when I first got in here massive run up went to 150 million dollar market cap i know it's way way down but i'm telling you guys i know that chart looks like a freaking rug pull but i know this team i feel really strongly that this is going to bounce back heavily they're going heavy into gaming and again don't listen to me do your own research get into their telegram matt is fully doxxed go listen and go go see what they're doing because they're about to be tomorrow starting tomorrow they are bridging uh to a web3 gaming platform you guys know how I feel about gaming. And this is where Matt, the leader of Apollo, it'll soon be another name. This is his background. So right now, my Web3 ecosystems that I'm heavily invested in are some big boys. This is a small cap right now, sitting at a $5 million market cap flat. Okay, $5 million flat right now that I think could be a huge opportunity. Not financial advice. Yes, I'm heavily invested. No, I'm not being paid to say this. I was a day one investor into Apollo. But I think this could seriously take off. I know these this chart, if you just look at it on the surface, you don't do research, you're like, oh my gosh, that looks terrible. Okay, but uh, that's my take. You can take it or leave it. I mean, and it's an opinion, obviously, but I'm still heavily invested there. And I think they're finally getting into what they do best. And that's Web3 Gaming. So I, I got the big dogs. I got Gala. I've got Beam. I've got Mira. By the way, I do like Mira. Um, Mira is the smaller of those three I just mentioned. Beam and Gala, both top, top 100. Then you've got Mira, which is 311 right now. 
Not a lot of people talking about it. $217 million market cap. There's their all chart. Okay. Kind of flying under the radar a little bit. I like this gaming play a lot. Not a meme coin, but hey, it came up in conversation. Okay. Um, but yes, Apollo, $5 million market cap. Look into it. Okay. And get ready because this week they're migrating to a new contract and a totally new era and they're getting heavily into gaming. I'm excited about that. So that's some other info that I have. What else do I got? Oh, you know what? I, I am I am invested in another meme coin on ETH. So we mentioned we aped into that one on uh, yesterday, Kendu. So we're in Kendu. We've been in this one since day one, Frog with Hat. Okay, I know you can't make it up, right? We've forexed since day one. This was a fair launch. We did uh, to put a promo video out on them, by the way. And I put my own money into it. It was a fair launch right out of the gate. I put some money into it. Talked about that in the video um, when I made it back on February 26th. We got our initial out. I put 300 in, got our initial out. And uh, yeah, it's kind of quietly creeping up. We know what Dog Whiff Hat did on Saul. This is Frog Whiff Hat on ETH. I don't know. I mean, you. Just, <laughs> I'm just throwing a bunch of stuff at you guys. All right. It's up to you to find out what you like, what's your flavor. But it's a $4 million mark cap. I mean, hell, can you imagine if this thing does what fra uh, what, what Dog with Hat did, or even a fraction of it? Whew, that would be insane. That would be insane. Now, I did hear this. I don't know this for sure, but I did hear that the same team, same group of marketers who helped Smog, like literally climb, freaking go parabolic, I heard that the same people, same marketers, who are on smog are also on frog with hat. Don't know that for sure, but that's what I heard. Okay. That's what I heard. By the way, guys, um, all this free alpha, definitely, definitely appreciate you guys. If you smash the like button, obviously subscribe to the channel. It is meme coin season, but it's not the only thing we talk about on the channel. We talk about everything. We just don't shy away from any opportunities. We're not too good to talk about meme coins. We talk about it responsibly. We, we take profits responsibly. And it's certainly part of our strategy to stack more Bitcoin, more Ethereum, the one way, and more Solana. The ways that we can do that are by getting into Sol meme coins, ETH meme coins. And guess what? I'm a huge, huge believer in Matic. It's one of my top five holdings. If Kulo continues this push, and Kulo starts to hit my profit-taking plans here, which I've got another uh, marker here set at 20 million for Kulo. I'll slowly start dripping at 20 million, and then again at 50 million, and then 100 million. Hopefully, we get there. But all those profits, I'm swapping right back into Polygon Matic. If Kulo can allow me to stack more Matic ahead of this bull run, sign me up. That's the name of the game here. And the same thing can be said for, you know, Cock Inu over on Avalanche. Um, and, you know, Brett on base. I mean, for me here, if this thing sends and it starts hitting some crazy levels and we start making some money, this is going to be going right back into Ethereum for me and the bull. That's my goal. I mean, you got to have these strategies mapped out. Looks like tips is flying a little bit, huh? Tips is moving up a little bit. That's cool. Tips is up to a 3.12 mil. Um, Nice reversal, huh? Oh, looks like Muzz is in the house. What up? We got all the moderators with us. What's up, Muzz? You can do it. We can do it. All we can do it. You can do it. Can do it. You can do it. Can do. We aped in this one yesterday, guys. Not being paid. We literally, guys, we aped. Because it has 632 followers, and one of them is Shaitoshi freaking Kusama. That's the real guy, too. Okay, that's why we aped. That's on ETH. We can do it. Ooh, Slumdo Slumdoge Millionaire's on Brett. He put it on everyone's radar at 40 to 50 million market cap. It's up 6, 7x. Nice. So how about this guy? Did you guys see this guy? This crash guy? Have you guys seen this story? This is wild. Okay, so check this out. 
He bought 15K into Brett on base on a public wallet for the world to see his conviction in this meme coin. Now worth over a million. But it's actually more than that. That's what's pinned. Check this out. Now his wallet is over 2 million. 15K. <laughs> There's his public wallet. He called out Brett entry at $2 million market cap, guys. Crash trading. Crash trading. He called, he put 15K into five on Brett. A true, this was 11 days ago. This was Brett 11 days ago. Now, admittedly, I did not get in that early, but I did get into Brett at about 120 million. And it's at 350. Hoping we get to a Billy. Uh, and that'll be a nice little 10x or 1.2 billion. Um, we've been seeing these, these, these cryptos do that. Um, but yeah, shout out to that. I mean, that's awesome. I love that. Some people would say that and be like, oh my gosh, he's so lucky, or or my life sucks. That's you know, screw him. No, hell yeah. I love to see people win. I love to see this kind of stuff in crypto. Um, I hope hopefully he has a profit taking plan. I'm sure he does. Um, I think he's actually even said it. I think he's I think he's taking it. He said he's gonna start selling at like three billion dollar market cap. So I mean, hey, he's got a plan. I mean, that's insane. Uh, but yeah, shout out to him. I mean, there's been tons of these stories, obviously. Gala has been looking absolutely phenomenal. We put out a video yesterday on him. Um, we're back in the green on our gala position. Can't be more happy with that. And how about the graph? How many of you guys were listening to us talk about the graph at eight or nine cents below 10 cents in the middle of the bear market when everybody was gone? You know, we've got almost a thousand people on this live stream. Back then we had like a hundred if we were lucky. And we were talking about the graph, guys. We were talking about the graph. And we were talking about AI crypto. We were talking about gaming. We we're talking about meme coin rallies and how they'll come back. And uh, here we go. I mean, the graph has been awesome, awesome, awesome. Been on a hell of a hell of a tear, hell of a tear upwards uh, recently. So uh, yeah, absolutely loving it. Um, I mentioned this in the. I put a video out on the graph yesterday too. Look at our trading indicator on this move. Last twenty five days, our momentum up flash. That's our XT algo on the daily chart. This thing can be used on any time frame. XT Algo, guys, my trading indicator. We went live with it in August of 2023. This thing has been phenomenal. Phenomenal for finding good entry points and exit points in your crypto trades. You guys, it, it's it's accessible. It's linked down below. It's a 30-day money-back guarantee. I highly encourage you to check it out. Use the discount code if you're interested in purchasing. Instead of 47, like you see on the site, it'll be 37 when you use the discount code X. When you purchase, you'll get an automated email from me, six steps on how to get you all set up. This was an unbelievable trade. I did have three or four people message me uh, talking about how they had the alert set and they got in. This is where they opened up their position on GRT, the graph at 18 cents. Boom. Great move to the upside uh, here for GRT. So shout out to the folks who made that move. Uh, you done five dollar donation is my gala v1 screwed? Well, where do you have it? Hopefully, you got it off there off Coinbase. Hopefully, you got it off Coinbase. They did not, they did not go through with the v2 migration. And I have heard people had their gala stuck who maybe lost track of it all and didn't move it over. If somebody else knows if that's possible, I had mine on the decentralized side of things so. When when Coinbase didn't um, didn't go with it, didn't go with the V two, they they gave you a time frame to get it off. All right, guys. Uh, so oh, Tips is making another push. So on Binance, you should be able to get it off. Um, or no, that's somebody else saying that. Tips is making another, but Tips is up 412% today. Whoa. All right, we'll see what happens. Do you think Gala will get listed on big exchange? It already did 100x uh, or 100% uh, percent yesterday. It's, uh, isn't it? It's not on Binance? Why did I think it was? Yeah, it's on Binance. They, It's not on Coinbase. That's pretty much the only big one it's not on, right?
Just the tip. Just the tip, Foxy. Yeah. Um, we just put a video out on them too. And listen, I it's meme coin season. I mean, there's no rhyme or reason, right? <laughs> um, I thought this thing was dead in the water and then uh, nope. You're done. I appreciate you, man, um, for the $5 super chat. I don't know if you meant to put something in there, but I'll, I'll be watching for you. Yeah, there is uh, the tips chart. Just the tip. I mean, that is memeable, though. That is very memeable. This one's on Solana, by the way. Um, the pool is flux beam, though, so be aware of that. It's different, a little different. I like ICP as a long-term play. I do like ICP as a long-term play. It's not one of my top holdings, um, but I did buy in late last year. And that's really the big thing right now. Is it memeable? Uh, does it have a strong community? That sort of stuff. Hey, it just got to five cents. Just the tip. So some of the ones to, to, to re-highlight some of these things, guys, go ahead and smash the like button too, by the way, if you haven't already. Uh, definitely, definitely, definitely appreciate everybody out there. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you to everybody who gives a $5 or any kind of super chat. You don't have to do that, but it is greatly appreciated. I do want to kind of resurface or rehash some things because we always have new people popping in, give you guys some additional thoughts, potentially some alpha. Obviously, do your own due diligence, do your own research. It's on you if you decide to invest or not. Um, just trying to give you guys some things to consider, some plays that are out there. It is meme coin season. If you have the excess money to invest in meme coins, have a plan, take your profits, be smart. You might miss out on some gains by taking profits, but you know what? You get wrecked way more than you miss out on gains. I'm telling you guys. So win the trade, right? Not financial advice, but that's what I'm doing. I made way too many mistakes in 2021 by not taking profits. So we mentioned tips. Uh, that thing just got to five cents and it pulled back a little bit. Just had a 13, uh, Saul cell. Um, I want to know where the, oh, the volume's right there. Okay. Volume's picking up though. Volume is picking up. Somebody bought that dip. So I want to see that volume get over a million. Okay. Uh, we mentioned Donald Trump on a little bit of a pullback here a little bit. Yep. A little bit of a pullback. Actually, not really. It's up 181%. What the hell am I talking about? Guys, Donald freaking Trump. I, so I'm going to show you guys something. I'll just. Full disclosure here. Okay. So this is one of my meme coin wallets. I'll give you guys uh give you guys a little glimpse here. Okay. One of my meme coin wallets. Um so I put 10 sol in this thing on March 4th. Oh my gosh. Insane. If I would have held it all the way through. But I just put another 300 bucks in like pretty late. And it's up to 2,500 bucks. Crazy. And we've already won on that trade big time. Um, oh, sorry. I thought it was on my screen. I'm looking at my phone, giving you guys the... <laughs> Uh, but yeah, Trump has been nuts. Um, let's see here. What other things was I? Oh, Brett. We we highlighted Brett a little bit. I think, you know, so one other thing with Brett, it's, you know, it's on base. We've only seen three cryptos get listed on Coinbase. Three, three meme coins. Shiba Inu, Dogecoin, and Bonk. Why Pepe is not listed on there, I have no idea. But if I'm going to bet on one that could get listed on Coinbase that's still relatively new, that's still relatively early, meaning when they list one's uh, meme coins over on Coinbase, usually they get to a billion dollar mark cap at least, right? This one's, you know, not there yet. But this is on base. Like this is on their incubated chain. So I feel like that's a good bet to bet on Brett, right? To get on Coinbase. 
Why wouldn't Coinbase, if they're going to list another meme coin, why wouldn't they list their own? You know what I mean? So I'm making that bet. We got in at 120 million. We're riding it up. Okay. Um, we're almost 3X on our investment. We will be at a 360. We actually were for a minute there when it spiked up to uh, 380. K9 Finance, not a meme coin, but within the SHIB ecosystem, which obviously is uh, meme coin related. We are up at a $25 million mark cap, guys. We are scratching and clawing right now to get to an all time high. Uh, K9 Finance has been really, really good. Did not get into this at all, and I wish I would have. Uh, this crazy bunny, I, I don't know. The volume's decent, I don't know. It's less than a million, I don't know what I'm gonna do with that. Um, I just was tracking it. Somebody mentioned it to me. Uh, can do we aped this one yesterday? We talked about that. Kulo's the one I'm really interested to see what happens, guys. Kulo's the one I'm interested in a lot to see what happens. That's that first big one on Matic, at least the first big one I've found. All right, guys, we've been at it for over an hour. I gave you guys some interesting tidbits, hopefully some plays potentially to look at. As always, do your own homework, do your own due diligence. On your way out the door, make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, enjoy your Sunday, everybody. This has been another phenomenal live stream. Thanks to all of you out there for making this possible. And uh, we're going to continue to navigate these crypto waters, whether it's meme coins, layer ones, AI, uh, Bitcoin ordinals, Bitcoin layer twos, tons of narratives, real world assets, the tokenization of real, real world assets, uh, deep in. There's so many narratives that are heating up in this bull run. And if history repeats itself, we're about 30% into this run. We haven't even got to the Bitcoin having yet. The tides are turning, folks. It's a great time to be here. Make sure you're telling your friends and family about what's going on in these spaces. You can't, you know, you, know, you, 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 you can, what's that saying? You could bring a horse to the stable, but you can't make them, make them drink or whatever, you know, but at least put it out there. Um, and yeah, the gas fees are freaking nuts, Spoke on ETH. That's why I've been spending a lot of my time on Solana, to be honest with you. Um, I've been spending a lot of my time on Solana. And guys, if you take profits along the way and you're just strategic about it, I think I mentioned this in my video that I put out before we went live. I started this Solana meme coin on my Phantom wallet with two, um, with $2,000. And I've just been stacking Solana. I started this with $2,000. And it's up over almost to $18,000, okay? And that has just been literally trading meme coins, but having strategic plans. And yes, this could legitimately be 70,000 if I would have held Tremp and held, you know, but it is what it is. I started this portfolio with two grand like two weeks ago and I can't be mad about that, right? So have a plan, be strict about it. And uh, yeah, lead a horse to water, but can't make them drink. There you go. Yeah, I knew it was something like that, Daniel. I knew it was something like that. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for checking everything out. Thank you guys for being here with me. Appreciate you guys for watching the video or being here with, on the live stream. That's it. That's a wrap. A lot more videos coming out. Make sure you check them out. See ya. Bye.